Before we start the video, I just want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Crunchyroll for sponsoring this video. Head on over to crunchyroll.com slash tjtunes, link in the description, for a free 14-day trial of premium membership. If you have been following me for a while, it's no secret that I own a lovely pet cat. But for all you newcomers out there, let me formally introduce you to my one and only adorable feline companion, Gigi. Isn't he the cutest little furball? Gigi here is really special to me, and I'm sure other cat owners have their own reasons as to why their cats are special to them. For me, it's because my El Gato has a very interesting backstory of how he became a part of our family. You see, I didn't adopt Gigi by regular conventional means like going to a pet store. No, 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 no. My dad would never allow such a thing. Gigi is a stray cat, and I met him around 7 years ago when he was just a tiny little kitten. It was a hot summer afternoon, and I was just walking home from school when suddenly I heard a... It kinda sounded like a cry for help. So being the kind and curious fellow that I was, I looked around to see where it was coming from, and lo and behold, behind a patch of grass, I saw the ugliest piece of living organism that mankind has ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a tiny little kitten. Still ugly though, because it kind of looked like a furry wet piece of clumped up toilet paper that never made it to the trash bin. But with legs. In any case, I still felt really bad for the guy, because A, it could barely move, and B, its eyes looked like this. Which sort of meant that he couldn't see. So I just stared at it, and waited, and just kept staring, hoping that its mom would come find it sooner or later. Almost 30 minutes had gone by, and... No one came. It was just me, the kitten, and the sound of its helpless cry for help. And honestly, I didn't know what to do. Hey, uh, why don't you just take it home? What? No, 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 no. I, I, I can't do that. My dad will kill me. Dude, just take it home. No one's coming for it. Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to tell me the opposite of what he's saying? Come on, man, look at it. You can't possibly be thinking of leaving this poor, abandoned, vulnerable little kitten out in the open like this to starve and potentially die. What, what, what are you, Satan? What? I never thought I'd say this, but Satan me was right. This thing was gonna die if I left it unattended. But I'd also take a beating if my dad found out I snuck a stray kitten into the house, so I did the only sensible thing possible. I left it there and went home. TJ, how could you? And came back five minutes later with some newspaper to carefully wrap the kitten around and take it home. Yeah, it was literally three minutes away from the house. Thankfully, no one was home, so I was able to sneak him in without the risk of getting caught. Then here I was in the room with the kitten cozily pursed inside my shirt, and funny enough, it wasn't crying anymore. In fact, it just fell asleep in my arms, which was kinda cute. <coughs> really cute. Anyway, I already knew that there was no way my dad would allow me to keep a pet kitten at home, let alone a stray, so I decided to keep it until it could grow big enough to at least fend for itself, and maybe even look for its mom. Now, about two weeks passed by, and keeping the kitten hidden from my dad wasn't as difficult as I thought. <laughs> Since my dad was a busy man who almost never got out of his room to check up on me, all I had to do was keep the little guy inside the bathroom next to my room before leaving for school to muffle its obnoxious meows and keep the noise from reaching my dad's room. And it worked. He never found out. However, my mom and my brothers did. But after staring into its adorable kitty eyes, they were pretty much sold on keeping it. My absolute favorite thing about this little furball was that it only listened to me and followed me everywhere around the house like my very own Pokemon. It would follow me down the stairs, on the bed, under the dining table, to the bathroom, which wasn't weird at all. I guess it's to be expected since I basically raised him, but it still felt really endearing. I took him out of hiding every chance I got when my dad wasn't around, but most of the time I'd keep him inside the bathroom for good measures. I knew I wasn't supposed to give it a name, since I wasn't gonna adopt it for good, but I couldn't help it. So I named it after my favorite soccer hero, the Superman goalkeeper himself, Gianluigi Buffon. Or Gigi for short. Side tangent, the word Gigi actually means dirty or filthy object in Korean, and 
I didn't know this until my mom told me, so I thought about changing the name afterwards, but then I thought, nah, it's not so far from the truth anyway. Then just like that, two more weeks flew by and as you can probably guess, I gave up on the thought of letting Gigi go. It was impossible, I grew too attached to him and we were practically inseparable. Instead, I decided I'd muster up enough courage to ask my dad if I could keep him. And since finals were coming up, I thought maybe having a few A's under my belt would set my dad in a good enough mood to increase my chances. The plan was set and I was just burning with motivation. But then, one day, the thing I feared most happened. My dad... My dad found out about Gigi and... He got rid of him. Wanna chill and catch up on all your favorite animes this season in one of the best streaming sites there is? Then head on over to crunchyroll.com slash tjtunes, link in the description, for a free 14-day trial of premium membership. Not only do they air new episodes just an hour after Japan, you can enjoy your favorite animes with professional subtitles, full HD, and ad-free episodes in one single app. I only use it to watch animes, but they do offer a wide selection of mangas and dramas as well. Lately, I've been catching up on all the latest episodes of shows like Mob Psycho 100, My Hero Academia, and One Punch Man, all of which are animes that I highly recommend for those of you who haven't watched it before or have never been introduced to the wonderful world of anime. Seriously, Crunchyroll has been one of my favorite places to binge all these breathtaking shows, and it's been one of the best anime binging experiences ever. Again, that's crunchyroll.com slash tjtunes, link in the description, for a free 14-day trial of premium membership. Enjoy! Hey guys, it's been a while. <laughs> First off, I just really want to apologize for my lack of videos lately. I actually had to split this video and make it a two-part series due to how much work I couldn't get done during the last couple of months. And yeah, it's just been a real struggle to find time to work, especially with everything that's been going on. It's just a whole fiasco of things that I won't really get into, but all that aside, I'm working on the next video as we speak, so hopefully the next upload won't take as long. Also, as most of you may know, I went to VidCon US all the way from South Korea and finally got to meet some of my online animator friends and also you guys as well. I did feel a bit guilty and felt like I didn't deserve to go to VidCon because I haven't uploaded in so long, but I didn't let that stop me from enjoying myself. And guess what, I'll actually be attending VidCon Australia in a few weeks as well, so if you're coming, hopefully I'll see you there. I'll probably upload a different video before finishing this series, but yeah, I'm really happy to be back and really gonna push to get a video out before I leave for Vicon Australia. Thank you guys so much for all your support and love. Seriously, you guys mean the world to me. Thank you so so much for your patience. Like, I, I don't deserve you guys. Oh, and yeah, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe hit that notification bell and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned. Bye.